Right, so today we're going to have a quick look at analytics and building your own analytics into Bubble itself. Of course, you can use Google um, or similar products, but sometimes you just want the granularity and you want to see the data inside your app. So let's have a look at doing that. I've got a simple landing page. This is my landing page. I've got a call to action button here. Button. Uh, so let's start by building ourselves a um, table or data type. Let's create analytics. And we're going to create a few fields in here. Firstly, let's create user id and then let's create a page url which is also going to be type text and lastly let's have an event so that we can track actually what happened we'll call that text as well great so we've got those so let's go to our page workflow uh, page is loaded let's create a new thing create a new thing let's create it types analytics and let's set all of our fields. So firstly, we're going to do the event. And we can do the text thing, page load. We're going to call this event. Page URL, we've got this handy thing called this URL, which will just pull the URL that's currently in the browser. Uh, and the user ID, nice and easy, current user ID is unique ID here. Great, that's it. So that works for the page load. I'm just going to copy that one. And our call to action button, I'm going to paste that in there. So we've got the same. I'm just going to change this to call to action, click. There we go. All right, great. So now when I hit the landing page, we should get an entry when it loads, and we should get an entry when the button gets clicked. So let's just see if that works. Refresh the page. All right, so it's loaded. Um, I'm going to click the call to action button. Call to action button. Great. Let's have a look at the data. See if it's collected that. So let's go to app data, go to analytics. There we go, and what you can see is page loaded and CTA clicked. Uh, nice and easy, you can see my user ID there. Uh, if I open uh, that same page in a incognito window, and do the same. Let's have a go at that. So I should get allocated a, a unique user ID. So I load the page, click the button. Good, let's close that. Let's go back to our data refresh it and there we go we've got another two lines page loaded for ctr cta clicked uh with a different user id and obviously you can add that onto any buttons you can add that onto uh any way you like nice and easy to build in your own analytics package yeah in the next video we'll come back and look at how you can build um, some analysis of that